Hi Falcon class, I hope you are all well. Um, if you're anything like me, you'll probably not enjoy this wet weather. Um, it is pretty miserable outside. But hopefully it might give you an opportunity to catch up with um, Kintsuki's Kingdom that Miss Bailey and I read to you and also to make a start on the new book that we're about to read to you. So we've chosen Holes by Louis Sachar, um, which is a fantastic book. I read it a few years ago and I really, really enjoyed it. It was also made into a film as well, so maybe some of you might have seen that too. Um, chapters are really short in this book, so I'm going to read you the first two chapters. Um, and Miss Bailey's going to read you another two, and she's going to post that one on Friday. So, here we go. Holes by Louis Sachar. Part 1. You are entering Camp Green Lake. Chapter 1. There is no lake at Camp Green Lake. There once was a very large lake here, the largest lake in Texas. That was over a hundred years ago. Now it is just a dry, flat wasteland. There used to be a town of Green Lake as well. The town shriveled and dried up along with the lake and the people who lived there. During the summertime, the daytime temperature hovers around 95 degrees in the shade, if you can find any shade. There's not much shade in a big dry lake. The only trees are two old oaks on the eastern edge of the lake. A hammock is stretched between the two trees and a log cabin stands behind that. The campers are forbidden to lie in the hammock. It belongs to the warden. The warden owns the shade. Out on the lake, rattlesnakes and, and scorpions find shade under rocks and in the holes dug by the campers. Here's a good rule to remember about rattlesnakes and scorpions. If you don't bother them, they won't bother you. Usually. Being bitten by a scorpion or even a rattlesnake is not the worst thing that can happen to you. You won't die, usually. Sometimes a camper will try to be bitten by a scorpion or even a small rattlesnake. Then he will get to spend a day or two recovering in his tent instead of having to dig a hole out on the lake. But you don't want to be bitten by a yellow spotted lizard. That's the worst thing that can happen to you. You will die a slow and painful death, always. If you get bitten by a yellow spotted lizard, you might as well go into the shade of the oak trees and lie in the hammock. There is nothing anyone can do to you anymore. Chapter 2 The reader is probably asking, why would anyone go to Camp Green Lake? Most campers won't given a choice. Camp Green Lake is a camp for bad boys. If you take a bad boy and make him dig a hole every day in the hot sun, it will turn him into a good boy. That's what some people thought. Stanley Yelnats was given a choice. The judge said, you may go to jail, or you may go to Camp Green Lake. Stanley was from a poor family. He had never been to camp before. And that's the first two chapters of Holes. Hope you enjoyed those, and enjoy listening to Miss Bailey's chapters on Friday. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.